So around 4.30 this afternoon, our SWAT team uh, came to the location, 4300 block uh, of Kelly Hill, to serve a narcotic search warrant. As officers arrived on scene and began to make their approach to execute the narcotic search warrant, someone started uh, firing out of the front of the residence. Uh, we did return fire, and in that process, uh, one of our officers was, was injured, was shot multiple times in his lower extremities. That officer has been transported to John Peter Smith Hospital. I just got off the phone with Chief Will Johnson, who said he's stable and talking, but he's being closely monitored and guarded. Um, because anytime you have multiple injuries, obviously that can be a very serious deal. We had a second officer that was either shot in the hand or received shrapnel wounds in the hand who was treated here at the scene. Um, he's actually still at the active scene. He hasn't been relieved yet, but he, he wanted to stay here um, and until this situation has been resolved. We know that one suspect is down towards the front door of the residence. We do not know that suspect's condition. We cannot get to that suspect at this point because the scene is still not secure. There is a possibility that there's still at least one suspect still inside. We did detain three or four individuals that are known associates of that residence. They're being interviewed at this point uh, to, just to kind of gather some more intel for us to see if indeed there is someone inside or not. Uh, obviously, the safety of our officers and the public is of paramount importance, and that's what we're working on right now. And so it will take some probably considerable amount of time before we can render the, the situation safe. The residents uh, that live in the area, uh, obviously they're being kept in, you know, from coming into the neighborhood, but if they're already in their home, we're asking them to shelter in place uh, until resolved. We've had a few phone calls from uh, neighbors uh, that are close proximity. We really can't get to the neighbors either, so we've given them instructions on how to shelter in place safely. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, the outpouring of community support, well wishes from other departments, media has been great. We're very appreciative of that, but this is still a very dynamic and evolving situation. Where were those others detained at? So we believe they came out of the location uh, during this incident. I don't know if they were came out the back or the front. Don't have those specifics, but they were definitely known associates that were at the location when we were executing the warrant. Was this a drug house at all? I mean, um, it was a narcotic search warrant. Um, and so detectives uh, got a warrant signed from a judge. Our SWAT team um, obviously does intel uh, to try to serve these warrants. It was a no-knock warrant, which basically means officers approach uh, by surprise. In this particular case, for whatever reason, somebody saw our front team approaching. Uh, when I say the front team, the SWAT team that was approaching the front yard and opened fire on them, and that's when our officer was struck. Did any of this?